Hello, this is Dr. Leo at the lead time. Today, I want to give an explanation how to choose the right distiller for your work. I have another video explaining the difference between the three distiller lead time carry, but I still have questions coming from customers how to choose them. So in this video, I will explain based on the three factors. One is what the products you want to get. Second, how many herbs you have. The third one is how much products you want to make. Last week, I made a video talking about how to do the distillation without buying a steel. That one got a lot of uh, very positive comments. I appreciate everyone giving the comments and the feedback. So if you want to start your distillation, but you don't want to invest in a distiller from the beginning, you can watch that video and you can just use your kitchen wire to start your distillation and get experience. And then you can switch to buying a professional steel. Like today we're going to talk about how to choose a right steel for the work you are doing. The first factor is what product you want to make, essential oil or hydrosol. Essential oil, as we know, it has a very low content in all of the herbs. Some herbs has a higher, up to like 1 to 2%, and some has a way lower, like 0.1% or even less. So when we are making the essential oil at home with a small steel, you expect it making a small amount. For some of the herbs, you cannot make oil from a small device. If you want to make more oil like lavender, you got to choose a larger size steel. So larger size give you more oil, give you more hydrosol as well. The second factor is what herbs you want to make and how many herbs you have. So if you want to distill of the large piece of uh, the, the plant material, like a pine needle or the uh, branches, some of like uh, the tree box, you know, some of the large pieces, or even like a peppermint, you don't want to tear the, the leaves off from the branch for each one. So you just want to use the whole branch. Then you got to choose the large steel, the, like the three gallon size, because it has a large opening, so you can easily fit in those large pieces. If you purchase like uh, the dry herbs, most of them are crushed, so you can choose a small size, small distiller, like a 3000 and a KD5. Both works to make your the hydrosol, and a RT3000 can make you small amount of oil. Or if you have a small garden, you just want to collect your the fresh leaves or flowers, the RT3000 is a good choice for you. But if you have a small farm, you want to choose the three gallon one. And a KD5 also works for both if you just want to do the sampling, like go do the testing, or just want to make a small batch. It works perfect. The third factor is uh, how much products you want to make. If you want to make a, a hydrosol for personal use or family use, and you just don't care like spending an hour a week for yourself and a family to make the hydrosol, KD5 is a perfect choice. It takes less herbs and take less space. It can make a good amount like two cups of a hydrosol from one batch of distillation that's good enough for the whole family or personal weekly use. If you have a small workshop or you have a larger size family or you want to send up your gift to the family members, LT3000 is a choice for you. It looks beautiful and it has very solid structure with metal tubings. And it takes a bit of more space than the KD5, but it has a flexibility to do the dual mode condensation. The manual mode takes less space and the circulation can help you save the work. So if you want to make a good amount of products by using the fresh made hydrosol, 
So making your soap, make lotion, then the three gallon is perfect for you. So you take more herbs, but you one batch can make you very good amount of hydrosol, like seven liters of hydrosol each time. At last, I have two tips for you. The first one is the circulating cooling condensation. If you want to do a large batch distillation, the circulation cooling is very important, very necessary. It can save you a lot of work and save you a lot of time. Um, you're going to need a circulation pump. The aquarium pump works and a big bucket with cold water. So you don't need to spend a lot of time to scooping the hot water out of the condenser and add ice cubes in. You just put ice cube in your big bucket. The second tip is do I need always have a full batch? The answer is no. So for either of these three distillers, so you don't have to make a always a full, full batch every time. The general rule is cover the bottom for at least the one inch you know, with herbs. So that can help you get a always high quality hydrosol. So you can think with KD5, you gotta use a very little herbs, maybe one ounce of the herbs. And with a LT3000, you can just make from a one cup of the herbs. With a three gallon distiller, you're gonna need at least a half pound of the herbs. So depends on the herbs, you know, some of the heavier, you're gonna need more, and some of the lighter, you can need less. But this is just a general guidance. It really depends on what herbs you're using. I hope this video help answer the questions, all of the questions you have, you know, before you choose a right distiller for you. And, but if you have more questions, leave your comments and the questions down below and I will get back to you. Thank you for watching. This is Dr. Liu at Lee Time. See you next time.